All right, guys, we're loading up again. We'll take the bay boat out. Crystal's off work today. And I think we're gonna go pull some of our stone crab traps and maybe try to get on a sheep's head or two or redfish in the inlet. I don't know. We are kind of rushing to catch the tide. We got the boat loaded up and uh, we're gonna see what we can get into. But you guys are riding along and uh, like I said, this is just my life and I'm videoing it for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is what I would be doing regardless of whether or not I was making a YouTube video today. So, uh, we're gonna see what we can get into and uh, catch you out on the water. Who wants He's it? Made a bunch of friends now. <laughs> Who wants it? Don't feed the locals. Don't feed the locals. I was gonna say, don't feed the wildlife. They're as local as they get. Oh, here they all come. We gotta go. <laughs> it's time to go. I told you not to feed them. We just got to the spot. It's a secret. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about this one. So you guys, if you know it, don't call it out in the comments. Everybody will get mad at me. We're gonna see what we can do down there. Lost him? Just lost one. He was short. He was a little guy. I saw we'll get him. another uh, fiddler here. I'll show you guys how I like to hook them. So you grab them, use a little small J hook go in the back leg hole and then just where it just comes out like that drop that down to the bottom I use a short little leader like that I'll drop it straight down to the bottom and then once I hit bottom come up just two turns and you want to hover your lead just off the bottom coming in <laughs> A little short, but it's the target species. They have to be 12, 14, 16. I believe these have to be 12 inches, but I definitely double check. Uh, I hadn't sheep's head fished since last year. I do know you can keep eight a day. Per person or per vessel? Per person. And I don't think there's a boat limit, but uh. A little guy. Pretty little sheep's head. We're gonna let him go look for his mama. Let's another, do it again. Another one of these fiddlers. I like the ones with the big claws on them. Look at that. Coming in the boat. That might be a keeper. Yeah, I think so. Let's give him a measure. Happy? Happy. This seems to be the type of luck I'm having today. <laughs> oh, look at this crazy dude. Man, I just tied this rig. Look at him. How crazy is that? I'm gonna get him unhooked and back in the water. Then get Crystal Sheep's Head on ice. All right, well, we just got the call. Mullet's at the vet today and get neutered. And we need to go pick him up. So we're gonna go pull our stone crab traps. We did not conquer the sheep's head. We got one in the live well. So hopefully stone crab goes a little better. We'll see here. Where are we going? Crazy. What? <laughs> We're going to get the stone crab traps. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Number one, we've got two stone crabs. Very nice. <clears throat> we 
still got quite a bit of bait left, so we're just setting these back. What do you think? Yes. I think. Folks, see what we got. Let's see, we got one, two, three. They all look a little small, though. Yeah. They Maybe do. that one might have a decent claw on them. <clears throat> all right, y'all, we're on number three. Let's see what we got here. See something in there, something big. Something real oh, oh my man. goodness. <laughs> Boys and girls, we hit the mother load. That's Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stone crabs in this trap. This has always been a pretty good spot too. This one's about eight though. We have we got shrimp, don't we? Yep. Numbers. Four. <laughs> We're doing pretty good, I'd say. Feels heavy. With, but hey, two three pin fish. for bait. We'll go back in the bait well. <laughs> Do you want a filet knife or? Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so we had some pin fish in the trap. That's actually a pig fish. This is a pin fish. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly dispatch them and they're going right back in for bait. I love free bait. <laughs> um, but this trap was empty, which is odd because most of the bait's gone. So I wonder if somebody just pulled it and thought it was theirs, but figured they'd had it up. You throw this in there? Oh yeah, throw a handful of shrimp. Why not? Here we go. That's the pinfish shrimp surprise. <laughs> How deep is it here? Let me say what it says. Ten feet. Well, then. To the next one. One more trap to go. Right. Fifth and final trap. Pretty excited for this one. It's a traditional stone crab trap, but it also had a big old black drum carcass in it. And I'm hoping that stone crabs like black drum. Oh my gosh, this thing feels cool. Let's see, I see some pinfish. I know I saw one stone crab down in there. There's one. Oh man. Oh, there's another one. Get him out. Little baby one. Oh man, that stuff hadn't even started really to decay that much. Get that little crab out of there so he doesn't eat all our bait up. Yeah. Well, that was underwhelming, but bait's still good, so the trap will go back in. Yeah, nice. So, we're culling our crabs now. The smaller ones, the ones without a. Uh... Oh man, it's a dangerous job right here. <laughs> yeah, it is. He's gonna be a short one right there, putting those back alive and well. Oof, they're fast. They are feisty. He's gonna have a good claw. Oh no. You got your safety shoes on? I got my Chinese safety shoes on. <laughs> He's just someone already got one of his. He'll go back. Those ones. Man, these things are mean to each other. Yeah, they are. Set them down like that. Let me see that measure. Right here. Measure that one claw. We're doing. Just use the lobster side. Okay. And so he's definitely go. short. He'll go back. Um, oh, I got one on my foot. And we gotta just start working through these things. So measure that one there. Lobster, so that's actually three inches. So that's over the two and seven ace that's required. And that's just how I do it. And what I do, come in close here, uh -huh. is we do it, we nip 
this little first part of his arm and he'll just release that claw perfectly every time this is the absolute best way to do it i know some people can pop them really good but uh i've done the little knife and pointing in there trick and they release but that is by far the best way i've found so far so we're going to start working through these crabs here's the next one So we know that one's good. Let's check that one. No, that one's good for sure. Just want to be sure. And then do his little side. I guess if you did the little side first, then you'd know the big side was good. That's what we okay. usually do. And that little side's going to be short. So. Pop him. Trying to get out the shadow. Perfect. He'll go back with one claw to live. Let me show you this big dog. He's got a growth on him or How something? How about this, guys? That is one monster stone crab. Is that barnacles? I think that he had some sort of a wound there. Oh. And uh, I don't know if we'll take that claw. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to eat it. There you go. No, you're good. It's because of the little shadow. Okay. He's so pretty. Okay. Well, All right. So we'll clip him. There we go. Nice. All right, guys. So we just cold out our claws. We got three, six, nine, ten, eleven claws on a 48-hour soak, and one nice big old colossal. So I know what we're having for dinner. I don't know about you guys. Uh, we can go get mullet from the vet. Go home and eat. All right, guys. We're back home. Crystal is going to cook us her, her special, what's it called? Shrimp and corn chowder. And it's going to have scallops in it today. We're going to add scallops. And we just showed you catching these uh, stone crab claws. And I figured since I've already showed you guys how to cook those, we are going to eat them tonight. But we're going to do the shrimp and crab chowder. And the shrimp are shrimp that I netted in the last video so what's the first step you want to martha stewart chop up some bacon okay and we're gonna put it into the what's that a dutch, dutch oven? oven yeah and <laughs> because everything is, is better in bacon grease so exactly so we're gonna start with some bacon we're gonna start with that and then what we're gonna put some onions in um and then white onion and then you're going, I use canned corn because it's better and easier. I'm telling um, Martha. I'm gonna do the big can because I wanna make enough yeah. to have leftovers. Um, but then you're going to put this into the baking grease too, to okay. like brown the corn. Well, we'll get there in a second. But what I wanna know is who's gonna peel these shrimp? Is it me? Yes. Uh, I'm not very good at peeling shrimp. She's very good at peeling shrimp. <laughs> Drop a comment below if you think she should peel the shrimp. Oh no. I dropped the two cigars. So our bacon's getting crispy crispy. What's next? Do not put that piece of garlic back. <laughs> I I've seen you thinking about it. Too. You were thinking about it. Alright. Can you start over please? Okay. We started over now. No, you didn't. Start it over. All right. Okay. So now that the bacon is cooking, we're going to add white onion and garlic. Okay. I'm going to need you to peel those shrimp because that's going to be next. Okay. There it goes. While that's stirring, my water's boiling here. And I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing my stone crab claws. Salted water boiling about eight minutes. Look at that big jumbo guy right there. It's a monster. 
night. She's slave driving me, folks. <laughs> While he is peeling the shrimp, I'm going to add our corn to our bacon, onion, garlic. Give it a good stir. Get all the bacon grease around all the corn. And the goal is to brown the corn. Just a little bit. Almost like roasting it in a pan. Turn that up a little. You have a minute left on your claws over here. They looking good? They are. Claws are coming out right into an ice bath. Stop that cooking process. Look at that big dog. This is probably, I don't know, $40, $50 worth of stone crab, easy. It's the only way I can afford to eat it is catch my own. Okay, so corn. Brown. Browning. Right. <clears throat> We're gonna add the shrimp. And what'd you do to them shrimp? I peeled them. No, I peeled them. What'd you do them after I peeled them? Oh, I chopped them. Okay. Just light, like yeah. a light chop, so that they're like in little pieces. They're not just like a whole shrimp. All right. What about the scallop? You want to add the scallop yeah. to it? We've still got, it? We got the last of our steam hatchy bay scallops. And they're going to go in there too. Me. This is going to be the best chowder ever. <laughs> All right, so I've got the chicken stock in there. I'm going to now turn that up to high so that it will bring it to a boil with the half and half. Sometimes they also use heavy cream, um, just because why not? I mean, heavy cream's good. But I had half and half, so that's what I'm doing. In our fancy flour container, yeah. also known as a cereal container, yeah. but keeps the flour fresh. All right, so um, we're boiling. I put the cream cheese in there cubed and I'm just like waiting for that to kind of dissolve and break down as I stir it. I'm gonna go with K Friends. Tonight. Cajun seasoning. Mm hmm Make it a little spicy. Um, and of course the staples, garlic powder, onion powder. Um I don't measure anything. Yeah. So there's that. But she yeah. also doesn't read directions, guys. I'm I don't, and I usually don't set timers either. So <laughs> that's just who I am. I am who I am. I don't either. I just like give you a hard time about sorry, it. Sorry, I'm not sorry. How spicy do you want it to be? I like it spicy. I know you do. Okay. Well, we'll add a little bit more of this then. The good thing about that K for it is it's not super salty. No, and it's very mm. good. Where'd you get it from? Kfred has a website. Um, he also has a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure you can get it online. He'll ship it right to your house. And I do know it's in a bunch of stores in Louisiana. Uh, but if you're not in Louisiana, definitely online. Nice. I'm going to do, I think, two tablespoons flour. See how that goes. Maybe cornstarch if it's not thick enough. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll start with your, that. It's your recipe. All right. right, we're going in with the flour. We're doing two, two tablespoons of flour. <clears throat> and um, Just mix that right in. Now, see, my folks, what worries me is, like, I'm always scared it's going to be lumpy, so I'll mix it in a little water first. But Crystal lives dangerously, <laughs> and she does stuff like this all the time. I don't even know about it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it works. It does. So... <laughs> right. Well, so how, you know, how long are you going to let you this won't. simmer? Um, I'm hungry. I want to eat. You know. Till it's done? Till uh, I feel like it's out of 
good consistency. I don't, I don't feel like it's thick enough for my liking. But so we do have bread, okay. so. All right. Well, we're gonna be spooning that stuff into pots the next time you guys see us. Yeah. I'm gonna crack these stone crab claws. Let's let's give it ten. Okay. All right. Our chowder, corn, shrimp, scallops, bacon, onion, all the yummy things. All right, guys, it's time to eat. We got these uh, beautiful stone crab claws. Crystal made this shrimp and scallop corn chowder. It's amazing. I've actually already tried some, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little recommendation. If you make it, get you some nice, fresh, crusty bread, French bread from Publix. Mm -hmm. Dip that down in there like that. That, it doesn't get no better. But that's it for this one, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.